Hi family, I want to share something with you um, today regarding uh, what we're seeing today, what we've been seeing and hearing over the past um, day or so with regards to um, what's happening with the hurricane in Florida. Now, um, last night, I was awakened at four o'clock this morning. And I couldn't go back to sleep. There was such a burden in my spirit. I didn't know why. I couldn't explain it. But I just laid in the bed and I start I started speaking in my heavenly language because at that point, I didn't know why I felt the way I did. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know why um, four o'clock in the morning, 4.11 to be exact, um, I was up. And like I said, I just began to just, just pray in the spirit um, for whatever reason um, that the Lord had me up at that time. And when I took my walk this morning, um, when I, I had to just spend some time with God, um, just talking to him, because I knew that this morning there was something, it was something that was going on in the spirit um, that he wanted me to know. Because again, there was such a burden in my spirit for it. And as I was exercising this morning, um, and I just finished exercising, that's why I'm sitting here in the car, but um, as I was exercising, he began to speak to me about the hurricane. And I know we should not focus on looking at a lot of news and social media and things like that, um, but you do want to have uh, an understanding of what is going on. We don't want to dwell and just sit there and you know just um, just sit in everything that's going on because we know if you continuously look at stuff, it can bring you to a point of fear. It can bring you to a point of um, uh, just being in a place where it it's not a good a good place to be. So I did. I have been keeping up with what has been going on, um, just to, to be abreast of of what's going on with this hurricane. And I began to see uh, individuals. There was. Uh, someone, a government official in Florida who advised individuals if they were not going to evacuate uh, from the areas that would be impacted, that they should write their names and their dates of birth, their date of birth on their arm. And think about that. Write your name and your date of birth on your arm. Basically saying, we don't know if you're going to make it. Just in case you don't, we'll know who you are. As I begin to see different articles, watch different videos from CNN and other sources, um, advising people of this. It was just like a wake up call um, to say these times that we're in, let, let me just say this. We know the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God brings, he comes to bring life and to bring life more abundantly. However, we're in a time now where 
Yes, God has given us grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. But we're in a time now where we've had time to make a choice. And you can see by everything that's going on that you don't have any more time to play around, to figure out what you're going to do. If by seeing what is going on now with this hurricane in Florida, people having to write their names and their date of birth on their arms, because most likely you won't make it until tomorrow. You have a certain amount of time possibly that you will be on this earth. Let me tell you something. God is not playing. He's not, God is not a sad chick, okay? He's not someone that you just go to or that you entertain when you feel like it. And a lot of people, you can see by what's going on in this world, people have been treating God like a side chick. And it's time to stop. We don't have any more time. Over the last month or so, maybe month and a half, I've been sharing with you what the Holy Spirit has been sharing with me about Psalm 91, Psalm 91, being covered under the umbrella, protection of God, and how even though uh, God is our umbrella, he's our covering, that just because we're covered doesn't mean things aren't going to happen. And here we are in this situation today. There are people in Florida who are sitting there waiting, not knowing what's going to happen. And this message is not just about individuals in Florida. It's about all of us around the world, the entire world world. And I'm going to I'm going to read to you what scripture the Holy Spirit showed me. Um it was in Matthew chapter let's go Matthew chapter 8 when Jesus calmed the storm. And I'm reading from the NIV version starting at verse 23. It says, "Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We're going to go down. He replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. So let me share with you what the Holy Spirit shared with me about this scripture. So a furious storm came. Waves swept over the boat. Here the disciples are afraid that they weren't going to make it because the storm was so powerful. But it says, what did the disciples do? Jesus was sleeping. But what action did the disciples take? They went and woke him up. They went to Jesus, woke him up, and their words were, Lord, save us us. Lord, save us. We're in the time 
where our cry, Lord, save us. Not just in this incident with what, what we're experiencing with this hurricane in Florida, but what is about to come, Lord, save us. God is not playing. Your cry in this time should be, Lord, save us. And it said, after the disciples cried out, Lord, save us. Jesus got up and he rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. Lord, save us. That's where we are in this world. Lord, save us. God has given, he's given us chance after chance after chance after chance to get it right. Have we not seen, even from what happened in, what was that, 2020, 2021 with the pandemic, everything shut down. And then afterwards, what happened? People started going back to their normal lives as usual, as if, as if the world didn't shut down, as if nothing ever happened. And now we find ourselves here today, experiencing people having to write their names and their date of birth on their arm because they don't know if they'll make it. They don't know that once this storm hits, how will they be identified? How, 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 will, how will their families know who they are? Lord, save us. That is the cry. That is our, that's our cry to the Lord. Lord, save us. So as we're going through today, pray for everyone in Florida, but don't just limit it. Pray for our world and pray that people will fall to their knees and get to a place where they're crying out, Lord, save us. Lord, save me. So that God, so that God will get up, so that the, the winds will be rebuked, the waves will be rebuked, the, the turmoil will be rebuked, and everything will be calm. 